What is Teradata? Teradata is a fully scalable relational database management system produced by Teradata Corporation. It is widely used to manage large data warehousing operations. It is compatible with industry standards, ANSI compliant. It is completely built on a parallel architecture. It is an open system, running on a Unix MP RAS or Windows Server platform. It is capable of supporting many concurrent users from various client platforms. Why Teradata? Teradata database is an information repository supported by tools and utilities that make it, as part of Teradata Warehouse, a complete and active relational database management system. There have plenty of reasons why customers like to choose Teradata. It supports larger warehouse data than all competitors combined. It can scale from 100 gigabytes to over 100 plus petabytes of data on a single system without losing any performance. This is called scalability. It provides a parallel aware optimizer that makes query tuning unnecessary to get a query to run. Automatic and even data distribution eliminates complex indexing schemes or time-consuming reorganizations. High availability of data because there is no single point of failure, fault tolerance is built into the system. It can handle the most concurrent users, who are often running multiple, complex queries. Designed and built with parallelism. Supports ad hoc queries using SQL. Single point of control for the DBA, Teradata Manager. Unconditional parallelism, parallel architecture. It provides the lowest total cost, TCO, of ownership. Can you explain the architecture of Teradata? Teradata architecture consists of three components. Parsing engine, it is receives the query from the user, parses it and prepares the execution plan. Binant, it is receives the execution plan from the parsing engine and dispatches to the appropriate AMP. AMP, it is responsible for storing and retrieving ROWs. It stores the data in the virtual disk associated with it. In addition to this, AMP is responsible for lock management, space management, sorting and aggregation. Can you define primary index? The primary index is defined when the table is created. Every table must have at least one column as the primary index. There are two reasons you might pick a different primary index than your primary key. They are, 1, for performance reasons and, 2, known access paths. What is Partition Primary Index, PPI, and discuss the pros of using it in a query. Partition Primary Index, PPI is an indexing mechanism that facilitates to improve the performance of certain queries. Within a table with partition primary index, PPI, defined, rows are sorted according to their partition number. Within each partition, records are arranged by their row hash. Also, rows are assigned to a partition based on the definition of a partition. Pros of PPI for several queries, PPI helps to avoid a full table scan and only required partitions are accessed. Prevents using the secondary index and it helps to avoid additional input, output maintenance. Quick access to the subset of a large table. Easy to drop old data and add new data. Can you explain unique primary index, UPI? A unique primary index, UPI is unique and cannot have any duplicates. If you try and insert a row with a primary index value that is already in the table, the row will be rejected. An UPI enforces uniqueness for a column. A unique primary index, UPI, will always spread the rows of the table evenly amongst the AMPs. UPI access is always a one AMP operation. We have selected DMP underscore no to be our primary index. Because we have designated DMP underscore no to be a unique primary index, there can be no duplicate employee numbers in the table. Can you explain non-unique primary index, NUPI? A non-unique primary index, NUPI, means that the values for the selected column can be non-unique. Duplicate values can exist. 
a non-unique primary index will almost never spread the table rows evenly. And all AMP operation will take longer if the data is unevenly distributed. You might pick a new P over a new PI because the new P column may be more effective for query access and joins. Can you define secondary index? A secondary index, SI, is an alternate data access path. It allows you to access the data without having to do a full table scan. You can drop and recreate secondary indexes dynamically, as they are needed. Secondary indexes are stored in separate subtables that requires additional disk space and maintenance which is handled automatically by the system. Can you define join index? A join index is an optional index which may be created by a user. Join indexes provide additional processing efficiencies. Eliminate base table access. Eliminate aggregate processing. Reduce joins. Eliminate redistributions. Eliminate summary processing. Can you explain pump? Pump, Teradata parallel data pump, as learned fast load and multiload are loads huge volume of data. But pump loads data one row at a time, using row hash locks. Because it locks at this level, and not at the table level like multi-load, pump can make many simultaneous, or concurrent, updates on a table. Pump performs inserts, updates, deletes and upserts from flat file depopulated Teradata tables at role level. Pump supports Secondary indexes Referential integrity Triggers Join indexes Pump data in at varying rates Can you define TPT? The Teradata Parallel Transport, TPT Utility is combination of tech, fast load, multi-load, pump, and fast export utilities. So TPT can perform. Insert data to tables. Export data from tables. Update tables. Can you define tech? And features of tech? Tech, batch Teradata query, was the first utility and query tool for Teradata. Tech can be used as a query tool to load data row at a time into Teradata and to export data off of Teradata row at a time. Tech is pronounced B-E-T-E-E. -E. Features of Tech Tech can be used to submit SQL in either a batch or interactive environment. Tech gives the outputs in a report format, where Quereman outputs data in a format more like a spreadsheet. Tech is an excellent tool for importing and exporting data. What are the tech scripts? Following is the list of terms commonly used in tech scripts. Import, this is specifies the input file path. Export, this is specifies the output file path and initiates the export. Logon, it is used to log into Teradata system. Activity count, this is returns the number of rows affected by the previous query. Error code. This is returns the status code of the previous query. Database, this is sets the default database. Label, this is assigns a label to a set of SQL commands. Run file, this is executes the query contained in a file. Goto, this is transfers control to a label. Log off, this is logs off from database and terminates all sessions. What are the different types of tech exports? There are mainly four types of tech exports. Export data, users will export data to a flat file format. This is called record mode or data mode. If the data has no headers or white space between the data contained in each column and the data is written to the file in a normal format. Export data. Export index data. It is used to export data with extra indicator bytes to indicate nulls in column for a row. Export index data. Export report. In this mode the output of tech export would return the column headers for the fields, white space, expanded packed or binary data. Export report. Export diff. This called as data interchange format, which allows users to export data from Teradata to be directly utilized for spreadsheet applications like Excel, Fox Pro, and Lotus. What are the features of Teradata? Teradata contains a huge data processing system, 
shared nothing designed thereby eliminating resource competition. Teradata is especially designed to accommodate massive information warehouse implementation and has several information deposition options embedded into the core of the info. With linear measurability, software will scale linearly with hardware, unconditional correspondence, multifaceted correspondence, intelligent information distribution, parallel aware optimizer makes Teradata is capable of handling massive information and sophisticated queries. Unlimited parallelism. Robust utilities. Automatic distribution. Mature optimizer. SQL. Linear scalability. Shared nothing architecture. Connectivity. How do you transfer large amount of data in Teradata? Transferring of large amount of data can be done using various application Teradata utilities which resides on the host computer mainframe or workstation, that is BTEC, fast layout, multi-load, pump, and fast export. BTEC, basic Teradata query, supports all four DMLs, select, insert, update and delete. BTEC also support import slash export protocols. Fast load, multi-load and pump transfer the data from host to Teradata. Fast export is used to export data from Teradata to the host. What are the steps involved after the disk manager passes the request? The steps involved after the disk manager passes the request are as follows. File system that is used in Teradata returns the data that is requested by the database manager. Database manager uses the dispatcher to dispatch the messages back. It sends a message to the requesting user as well. Binit is also known as single node system uses the sorted response and returns to the requesting interface engine that is used for packaging system. Dispatcher is used to respond to the messages that are being sent by the clients and then it routes the communication channel driver to the requesting client. T2P receives the information and unpack the packed response messages and provide them to CLI. CLI passes the messages to the application that has requested it in the form of blocks and then the application respond back to the client with the data in the form of relational tables. What is OLTP? OLTP, Online Transaction Processing, uses normalized tables to quickly record large amounts of transactions while making sure that these updates of data occur in as few places as possible. Consequently OLTP database are designed for recording the daily operations and transactions of a business. For example a time card system that supports a large production environment must record successfully a large number of updates during critical periods like lunch hour, breaks, startup and close of work. What is multi-insert? Inserting data records into the table using multiple insert statements. Putting a semicolon in front of the keyword insert in the next statement rather than terminating the first statement with a semicolon achieves it. What is caching in Teradata? Caching is primarily working with the source that does not change frequently. The system keeps frequently using the data blocks in a separate memory in the application. Also caching is shared within several applications, like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.